What's up everybody? It's about that time we get started on the engine swap on the 190E. I actually did get started and here's a little update on what's been going on. This is the 190E 2.3 liter four speed four cylinder engine. It's been taken out of the car. This is the exhaust system. And that is the M50 that's about to go in here. I've already gone ahead and painted the engine bay and I'll include some pictures that I've taken. Uh, in order to put this motor in, you gotta remove this radiator support piece right here. It's not that hard, you just drill out the uh, pinch welds and after you're done you could just weld it back in or screw it back in or leave it out whatever you want um, so as far as the motor mounts go I'm gonna use the stock 190e motor mounts and I'm just gonna make custom adapters to mount this engine onto those motor mounts um, main important issue that I see right off the bat is that is the steering box I don't want to remove the steering box but the sump on the M50 B25 on the E36s or the 328, the sump is in the rear. We need the front sump oil pan. You can find that oil pan off of a E34 525i. I believe it's from 1991 to 95 that they made those. And those cars come with the same exact engine except the oil sump is in the front on the oil pan. That's a common thing that they use on E30 swaps when they put these engines into E30s. So just know right off the bat, it's gonna be a bit pricey and it's gonna be hard to find. Second, there's not really that much space on this side for the exhaust, especially with this piece right here. The exhaust has to run up and over this. Um, and the uh, M50s, they come with, um, they come with these headers that have a two-piece setup so they got two ports coming out and unfortunately that won't be able to work with this engine base so what you have to do is you got to get one of these these guys suck because they're never perfect and I have to bore out these holes so it fits but this is gonna eliminate that issue of uh, dual outputs It's just gonna have one output that's gonna go straight down right into there as far as right now, uh, what I'm doing, um, I'm pretty much cleaning up this engine. I'm doing a valve cover gasket in order to freshen this up. I'm gonna paint the valve cover, just regular black. I gotta change out the oil pan and I gotta pretty much make sure all the seals are fine and prep the engine to put it in. Yeah, so stay tuned. Also, you guys have to check out this bitchin' color I did. This is all done by spray paint. But look at all those flakes. Ooh, baby.